Hey Pisces, how you doing? This is just your quick message for the week, okay? This is how I'm going to be able to have to do every single sign this week, all right? <laughs> so hit the like button, all right? Um, I will be able to do every single sign. So, you know, like all the videos of every placement that you're following or cross-watching for, okay? Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? So this is just your guidance we pulled from, okay? And we also have this as well for later. Make sure that's inappropriate. And pulled for your situation, all right? So let's get into it. This is an awesome read, I can already tell. All right, so you have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way, especially networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. It could be a little bit of column A, column B. I do get that sense. Okay. First stargazing that came out with sextile, semi-sextile, allowing opportunity with effort, energies attract, lack of ease, potential for growth, and tempers. Okay. So you may have both energies here. I do see that. There's at least two individuals. This is pertaining, this event or this networking opportunity, whatever this invitation is, this opportunity is, is related to your fifth house. You might want to check that placement, okay? Love affairs, romance, play, parties, creativity, children, having fun, entertainment, fertility, dating, and joy. Okay, so birthing new ideas, new new creative pursuits, new networking opportunities is definitely here too. And it could blossom into something else, all right, at some point. From Izzy's deck, if whatever this situation is, is not known yet. It could be like, I immediately thought of like, um, you know, a secret sort of anniversary surprise party or something. Or um, there could be aspects of this that haven't been played out yet or planned yet that's just being thought of at the moment. Okay, so wait for it to come to fruition. Something about it is secret, okay? Definitely with the I love you could very well be a reunion, a reconciliation. This could be your secret. Maybe you want to do this and you don't know how to go about doing it just yet. And this may be confirmation for you to go for it. Okay. Um, this could also be, you know, like I said, could be some sort of surprise anniversary or proposal party or something like that. Okay. Where it's going to be communicated. Okay. But communication is going to be absolutely essential for you during this. Okay. Clearly. Communicate clearly. All right. Effective communication is important. Now this will identify a little bit here. Man, dealings or relationship with a man. Okay. That could be you. That could be this person you're going to be dealing with. Okay. Maybe coordinating. Okay. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So definitely have a plan and communicate. There could be some indecision, and that's why things hadn't been moved yet, okay? They're why whatever this is, secret or not known yet, okay? Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. And rooster, this could be a year of the rooster as well for someone in this situation, you or them. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Could be this man or could be whoever else is in this situation, okay? Let's see. To identify any people in this situation, we had the Six of Cups. So here's your reunion, reconciliation, celebration energy. It could be something from your past, okay? Uh, your childhood, someone you've known in the past, someone that you haven't seen for a very, very long time. This could be a fun childlike event, <laughs> okay? You also have Capricorn, Year of the Ox, the letter W might be significant, and things you're going to have to know with this elephant here. That could also be a sign or synchronicity. Any animals, numbers, uh, even heavy amounts of color that you see on uh, some of these cards, okay? With, especially with any of the guidance could be identifiers for you. You also have the seven of pentacles here. Something to invest into. Time, money, resource, energy, okay? The letter G. Leo might be significant as well. And year of the rooster again, okay? And the year of the snake. I don't think there's a year of the elephant. <laughs> there might be in some zodiac, but uh, year of the snake, I also see that card as as well. Okay. All right. I did clarify some things. We'll get into that in a second here. So for the first card to describe what's going on, 
you had journey number 10 and that explains that good lord number five you were them all right that's typically an elder gentleman or a feminine energy in their masculine energy over the age of 50 let's make some space we had thievery and gift so this could indicate that maybe um something had been taken right gifts are usually given and thieving is usually taking so perhaps something that had been given was taken okay and that could very well be energy because i see the long road here okay and the journey but there's definitely a sense of travel okay someone's going somewhere all right could be this good lord all right let's see all right that's to clarify that all right so to clarify this journey this person is traveling from a queen of pentacles energy someone that they thought was friendly maybe ch or had children okay number 12 breaks down to a three there's been some communication with this ace of cups here gemini libra aquarius energy as well or needing to communicate to someone that's a gemini libra aquarius number 37 breaks down to a 10 that does signify endings leading to new beginnings. Threes are all about good news, okay? <laughs> all right, the rapiers here, however, there might be some challenge with whatever energy they're coming from, okay? Or, you know, leaving or escaping from or whatever, okay? Change of residence, and that's why I say there's some sort of movement from one place to another, okay? One situation to another. With this seven of cups, knowing their options, okay? But not being overwhelmed by choice and i say that because of the ace of swords all right knowing that there's better choice out there than where they came from for themselves now the queen of pentacles energy could also very well be a sense of mothering self energy some sort of knowing your own worth okay and moving away from a situation that's not and if you're dealing with a rooster an arrogant boastful person that could be the escape from okay all right let's see now to ask about where they were going, okay, page of wands was clarified by the eight of wands, all right, you know, just in case of birch rod here, maybe there had been some arguing and fussing and fighting with this energy they're leaving from, right, 21 could have been very challenging, but the eight of wands are typically is fast communication and it's good news. And then nine of wands here with the queen of pentacles again. Okay, so clearly there had been a decision made to escape this sly energy here, um, an old trap with this fox, okay, from this Queen of Pentacles energy. And that could be them just being the Queen of Pentacles and taking charge of their life, right? And then I asked where they were going. First card that came out, you have the Six of Cups. <laughs> again so it's definitely a reunion energy with regards to this event okay it is an end of cycle this is actually something that the universe is divinely guiding okay it's a benefit for that person for you or them okay so you might be the person helping them and there's going to be communication and again gemini a libra aquarius energy okay specifically from a knight of swords energy though so Perhaps a more, uh, the Knight of Swords isn't necessarily immature, but they're definitely not a king, right? Okay, they're not really taking charge and really mastering their verbal craft, so to speak. But they are communicating, all right? Um, and they're hustling, they're moving quick about it. It is fast energy. So then when I asked where we were going, we pulled out the remote Romance ang Angels. Give your relationship a chance, okay? work on your partnership so that tells me this could lead into something free yourself it's time to take back control of your life and that could very well be being in that north knight of swords energy express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so this could very well become more new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so to identify this person it is a karmic connection for now, so there's something to learn in it, okay? 
or they could be in a karmic connection. They may be an aunt or an uncle. They are employed either self or for someone else or have a career and you might know them through a work situation. That's how you're going to meet them. They also might be a queen of pentacles energy themselves. So you might be moving from a queen of pentacles, pentacles energy to another one. Okay. Totally different set of circumstance. Doesn't exactly state if they're, you know, an awful person. So I asked, um, how would you be able to recognize them? Okay. Clearly this is someone from your past. This is not the person that you just came from. This is a new, this is a new situation altogether. It could be new energy in an old form. Okay. To recognize them, the cougar came up. Okay. As a sign of synchronicity. Uh, that's also the mountain lion. So, or they could be a cougar. <laughs> Maybe they've been known to date younger people, younger men. They might be a feminine, all right? So take that how it resonates. Or they could have just talked about mountain lions or cougars or something, and that could be an identifier for you as if you know who this is, okay? Um, of course, they could be any, any of these signs as well. So for guidance on timing, we had two cards come out, as well as overall energy. New moon in Scorpio, that's in October, so there may be some time to percolate this or... Uh, to get ready for this okay work through your fears there might be some shadow work that needs to be done okay and prosperity lies ahead with new moon and taurus now the new moon and taurus did just happen okay so maybe this is something that could happen between october and the next april <laughs> okay as far as what lesson or fear judgment popped up i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges okay now Purple might be a color that's dominant, okay? I do see that a lot already. Purple or green, okay? Um, that is heart chakra and third eye, so you may be intuitively sensing them as well. Twelve breaks down to a three, all right? Your true tribe can't show up until you do. So this gives me a sense that you might have to be making the communication, right? Or at least making the effort. How can you show more of the real you? Yeah, just to work on some of these shadows and whatever else. You have 33, a loyal guardian. Magical protector is there for you, so just know that you're protected during this process. Okay, 33s, again, good news. 12 with the 3 again, lots of 3s. 3s might be very significant. The golden phoenix, something you thought finished, burst back into life. Definitely this reunion energy, okay? Dragon Lean Garden, a new world is born. 45 breaks down to a nine. Three and nine might be significant. Also six, okay? And 12, 12, all right? Um, I'm getting a sense this is definitely like old vessel, new energy, a chance to renew something or begin something anew, some project collaboration of sorts, okay? Make sure I didn't miss anything here. From the mermaids, you have blessings. This is definitely some blessing for you from the universe for doing the hard work, okay? Leaving whatever situation was holding you back and creating issues energetically. This is a blessing to be grateful for, okay? <laughs> Just count your blessings, right? Also a chance to give yourself some time to contemplate what is best for you, okay, at this time. And whatever you need to break free from, continue doing this. This is a cord cutting card um, or energy clearing of some kind, okay? And I pulled from our chakra deck as well, just in case there's anything that you could work on at this time. Make sure your throat chakra is clear, okay? Communicate effectively. 21 breaks down to a three. <laughs> Love it. Oh, gosh, and another nine. Heart chakra energy as well, okay? We did have the green, and we also have blue now, okay? Green, blue, purple. Love. Do everything with love, okay? And I did pull from the Cannabis Oracle. Just to see, we have creation solo, solo magic. Because it seems like you got some time, right? Okay? Now that's on page 68. 68 breaks down to a 14, which is 5, which is all about transition and change for the highest good. Okay, so that might be significant for you at this time as well. This may give you some time to change. The crystal pairing for this card is sodalite, and luckily for you, I'm wearing that. Okay, so you have an idea of what to look for if you need to get it. Okay, 
but you don't you can also just have a picture of it too that works as equally as well to meditate on if you'd like to do that the affirmation on this card I flow through life on the waves of nurturing waters. I ride in peace with myself and the love surrounding me. Creation energy is the energy of self-love and pleasure. The figure in the card raises their hands while water flows upwards all around them and into the sky. This card shows itself when you need to give yourself some tender loving care. So you might need that right now. You just came out of a situation, all right? Whoever this is might need time. You were them, okay? They're going to need some time to kind of like regather their energy and, and cleanse it out, right? Definitely break free from whatever is still holding on and clinging on. Maybe that looks like a spa day, a massage, retail therapy, or simply staying in bed doing what you want. This card asks you to take time for yourself away from busy work, family, friends, and, and loved ones who expect you to be available. It is okay to reschedule that meeting or cancel that lunch for your reality. Be mindful and resist the temptation to fall into creation energy alone as part of a routine. So it's not meant to be long-term, okay? Um, there is some, while things are being figured out, okay? This is a good time to take some breaks, okay? We all live on this living being together. The living being being Earth, right? <laughs> Love it. So your final guidance, where to go? There it is. Is number 24, Matanji. 24 breaks down to a six. Three, six, nine is significant for you at this time. Threes, sixes, and nines, okay? That could be an identifier of this person as well. Life path number, birthday, that sort of thing. Matanji. She is the tantric queen of outcasts. Ooh, that could be an identifier. Maybe this is somebody that had been outcasted. Or maybe you felt outcasted by, okay? Unveiling hidden inner power to thrive outside conventional society. She holds the secret teachings of the power of the voice. Again, with that communication, right? The throat chakra. Of the healing power of art and music. That could be an identifier for someone in this situation. She is the divine feminine medicine for the lost, the alienated, those who have been cast aside. If you have been denied love and respect, she brings healing and empowerment. If you have suffered rejection, abandonment, or been labeled as unworthy in any way, she brings dignity and repair. She is the ignition of a secret, joyful, and vibrant life path. Love it. Let's see if I can get a quick... I'm not sure how much time I have left before the device dies on me. In a reading, she augurs the overcoming of a toxic pattern or situation. So yay. Okay, that's a confirmation there. If you've been feeling at the mercy of another person or situation, she reassures you that you have the spiritual power within to claim your energy as your own. And yeah, you may need to do that. You may need to do an energy callback. Breaking Free also does talk about that as well. As Matanji operates outside systems and convention, if you're feeling afraid or victimized within a system of bureaucracy, for example, you are asked to seek sanctuary in her and trust in her overriding power. And really, you are her. Okay? <laughs> we are all these energies. <laughs> so, you work on you, right? That's what the self-care and the self-love is all about. All right. Is there anything else? She reminds us that to the divine eye, we are lovable, worthy, and acceptable as we are. Hers is a joyful path of the heart. Definitely with that heart chakra energy there. All right. There you go, Pisces. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.